So, not too long ago, in the small town of Mulvane, Kansas, there was a public speaking student named Josie. She and her classmates were assigned the task of reviewing a movie made before 1980. Now, for her, this decision was not very hard because she liked Star Wars, so she chose Star Wars Episode Four: A New Hope. So, her mission task was pretty easy, and that was to explain Star Wars A New Hope to her audience. So, Star Wars Episode Four: A New Hope was made in 1977, and it succeeded because it was a very original idea, and it was kind of the start of sci-fi movies really succeeding. So, the brief summary is that it's a civil war, and the Rebel Alliances stole the Galactic Empire's secret Death Star plan, so Princess Leia gets captured by Darth Vader, and she sends a message with R2-D2 asking for help. And so R2-D2 and C-3PO escape and go get Luke Skywalker and Obi-Wan. And Obi-Wan and Luke Skywalker hire Han Solo and Chewbacca. And they board the Millennium Falcon, which is their ship. And they attempt to rescue her. So the acting was a bit cheesy at some times. But I think that's kind of just makes it more iconic. And it give some character to the film so it wasn't too cheesy to where it was just like hard to get through it but it was just kind of cute so but the acting was not bad at all it was very good so the movie was a good pace it wasn't very long so it was never really boring and it wasn't kind of just sitting there like i don't know what's going on right now it all made sense it was a princess was in danger and needed help so the good guys go and try and save her. Now, CGI and special effects wise, there is a lot of CGI and special effects because it is a sci fi movie. But they weren't the greatest, but it was made like 50 years ago. So I don't know if it was good for the time or not. But I would assume for being made 50 years ago, it was pretty good. It wasn't like bad CGI, but it was just not the best compared to what we have today. So, overall, I think the CGI wasn't bad at all. It was just a little a little rough, but not too bad considering how long ago it was made. So, overall, I loved this movie. I've loved every Star Wars movie that I've seen, and I'm really into sci-fi stuff, so I was pretty sure I was going to like it. So, yeah, acting was cheesy. The plot line made sense, but oh, and the computer graphics were not the greatest. But overall, it was a very great movie and I would definitely recommend it to anyone that likes sci-fi and Star Wars.